My name is Tiago Maia, I'm Creative Director of Cookie Studio in London. Uh, I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys, just give a little tips, just show a little bit what is a shape layer and uh, how you can use that and uh, make some little nice motion graphic. Let's open, uh, uh, let's create a new comp. Okay guys, so let's start creating the first firework, okay? We're going to use uh, basic shape layer and uh, the repeating shape layer. Uh, I always prefer just uh, start straight drawing on the on the composition. Just if you select the pen to get the normal one, uh, just click and let's draw a little line. Done. So if we open that, we're gonna see inside content. We already have a shape and uh, we have the path. What we want to do is animate this path, okay? It's basically like animating a mask in, in After Effects. So if you, if you select here, what I would suggest, let's scale up this timeline. You can just scale here or plus and minus. So let's scale when we can see the frames. Let's go about frame five, because that's gonna be the size of our uh, firework when it's full expanded so let's keyframe on the path here and that that let's go back to frame zero frame zero is where we want nothing to be on the screen so if we select just the top one you can select the selection two you can just drag on the top and now you can just grab only that hold shift so your your movement's always going to be kind of linear is snap to a grid so we can just move straight so move down until you almost can't see if you if you still seeing a little bit there you can just use the arrow until they just match the the, the same position okay and uh, as you, you probably know you automatically have a keyframe here you just you don't need generate so you just generate the first one so if you scroll on the timeline now you're gonna see we have a little stroke just growing what we want we want to one that expand it stay like for one maybe two frames on the screen so we can notice and that disappear so what we're gonna do we're gonna move like let's move for one frame now and let's basically select this frame cop command C and command V or control on the PC so we just cop and paste so now we have one frame holding here and uh, we're gonna move five frames forward, so we're gonna make they disappear in the same speed that appears. Okay, so let's go to frame 11. Okay, so if we select the path here with the select uh, selection tool on, let's select the bottom one, and let's move the same we did before with the shift on until they disappear. If they don't disappear, you can go with the arrow on the keyboard. Okay, that's the animation we have, but of course we want to like this exploding a circle come from the middle. So now we're gonna use the repeat inside shape layers. So if we see here on the shape layer, uh, we got on the content, we have this little tab called add. If we click here on the arrow, you're gonna see there is quite a few things. So what we're gonna use is repeater. Okay, so let's click in the repeater. Let's see what happened. Automatically, we got this field here uh, called repeater one. Okay, and uh, what we saw straight away on the screen, this turns to be three of them. If we scroll the timeline, it's like repeat three times in the same. Uh, it's just offset the position. So let's open the repeater and see what we have inside. Okay. If you look here, we say copies we can make how many copies we want okay we're gonna go for let's start with nine copies just to see how it works and uh, okay we want to make that as a circle the main thing we want to play is with transform of the repeater you're gonna notice it's just like normal you have the star you got like scale rotation what we want we want to like rotate then so so he's gonna start rotating but what is happening he offsetting from the rotation because of the position of 100 if we change that to zero so they're gonna rotate from the zero point is in the middle and now we can rotate and make a perfect one let's put 45 
45 frames, okay? So basically we only need eight of them. We pretty much have our firework already, okay? So now you guys can just generate new ones and you can play more with that. So now you guys have the same fireworks I had before. You can change color to change colors. You can just close and go. We play with the strokes so you can put any colors you want and straight away change and uh, you can you can just select the layer and move that around or you can just change the position on the on the transforms of the repeat or of the layer and uh, and I hope that was helpful and uh, and see you guys soon thank you